green, off we go. That's it. There we go. Yeah, so. Derek, I, I don't know when you maybe raced at Paul Ricard for the first time, but this facility, which has been an amazing, way, way, way ahead of its time, was actually created and uh, first ran a race in 1970. And I mean, we're coming around just the first chicane, which actually has changed since I raced here because of the speed of cars. So now coming down to what is the chicane. This part of the track actually is the same as I raced on. But tell me, you know, curbing, track limits. What do you do now about curbs and track limits? Well, this is a track which is very modern. And obviously you have to use as much track as you can. And with the curbs are being so flat, the driver tends to use everything, all the curbs. Some areas you can even go behind the curbs, you know, and go offline. Like here, you can you can drive yeah, wherever you want. Those but markers, you hit those markers, you're going to be in trouble. Yes, and for sure. Yeah. I was watching practice this morning, and so many of the drivers were getting notifications for track limit abuse. Yes. This is the beast run straight that we got. Oh, that's really entertaining. We're not going through the chicane. We're meant to be going down the East Wells Street. The curbing, those cones are set up for the support events. For the thousand kilometers of Paul Ricard, there are nodes. We just go straight down the East Wells Street. Now, you're going to have to lift off. You're going to have to dab the brakes. In the good old days, in the good old days, seen the corner we just come through. Oh. Well, you do so this is how you oh, drive, you know, you drive as far as you, let's say in the end, you are allowed to. This corner is called Bouze. It's a pig of a corner because it understays, 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 all the way out. The, and then you've got to get it back to get the apex. The turbo is pretty good. Yeah, it has good grip. Uh, it's, it's a road, road car, but you can take it on the track and you will have some fun for sure. But yeah, back to the track. The track. If you look at it, it looks from the outside a bit boring because it's completely flat. You know, you have everywhere, you have this asphalt uh, on the exit of the curbs. If you make a mistake, you don't go in the gravel or through the grass or hit a barrier. Like we're coming into the final corner here onto pit straight. Even I remember that having more reference points than I'm seeing here today. I don't know whether you notice them or not or whether you're so familiar with the circuit that you just take it for granted. Well, uh, it helps a lot when you have reference points, but here you have sometimes a little board on the side, a distance board, you have a little meters, white line. 200 meters, 150, 100 meters, where would you think you'll break? You break at the 100. That's brave. Yeah, That's well, this you have to do if you don't want to get lapped and overtake by all the other guys. Can you, over, can you overtake into turn one here? Yeah, if you have a good exit out of the last corner and uh, maybe you get a little slipstream, then uh, you will be able to overtake it. Uh, sure, yeah. Flagged in that dirt, but one final thing. This race starts at 6 o'clock or so in the evening. Finishes just before midnight. It's a, it's a thousand kilometers of, of Paul Ricard, part of the, the Blanc Pie Endurance yep. Sprint Championship. Going from daytime, dusk, the sun hits you right in your face, coming up into turn one really badly. How difficult is it going from day to night here at Paul Ricard? I think it will be very difficult because we don't have a practice session before to try and uh, the track is so flat and sometimes you have a little crest where you don't see the corner behind. It's already difficult in the, in the, with daylight in the dark when you know all your headlights will just go in the air. Uh, it will be very difficult. You have to drive a lot with your feeling. You know, and you know, I was going to say that's a funny thing because in the commentary booth David Addison and I have exactly the same difficulties doing a broadcast because when it goes from light to dusk to darkness, in darkness we can't see a thing. But because we are quite good at our job, as you are at your job, we make it a good, good job. Yes. And that's what we try to do. I think everybody appreciates it. And uh, thanks for driving with me. Pleasure. No, it's been great. Hope you enjoyed uh, thank it. you for taking me slowly. Yes. Because the stomach is not up to fast for that. Yeah, okay.